Have you heard of Bailey Gifford before? I haven't, I just got to know them through a partner in Tokyo Marine Life. Now today I'm going to share with you about Bailey Gifford and they are actually a UK fund manager. Their performance in 2020 has been stellar. I'm wondering how come not many people are talking about them. Now take a look at this fund over here. This is Bailey Gifford American Fund. You realize that it's performed more than 100% in 2020. What about their flagship fund, Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust? It's also performed more than 100% in 2020. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you a few things. The first, I'll compare between Bailey Gifford's funds as well as ARC, ARC Innovation in particular. The second part of the video, I'll be sharing with you updates on the ARC Invest. And if this topic interests you, continue watching on. Hi guys, welcome back. Now let's start with the most shocking part of Bailey Gifford. Do you know that they were once Tesla's largest external shareholder owning 7.7% of Tesla itself? Now, if you look around social media, you would be thinking Cathie Wood and ARK Invest is the biggest supporter of Tesla. But little did we know that Bailey Gifford was actually once Tesla's biggest external shareholder. Of course, they have been selling off stake, which is the next part of what I'll be sharing. But a lot of why they've done well in 2020 can be attributed also to Tesla's share price. They once, if you can see over here, as of September 2020, most of the funds own more than 10% of the holdings into Tesla, and Tesla's appreciation naturally contributed to the fund's performance. But they've actually been selling out from Tesla. That's something very different from what ARK Invest is doing. ARK Invest is doubling down on Tesla, but they are taking profits and divesting moving allocations to other companies that they believe probably are better valued. So let's look at some of the details. This is actually as of September 2020, correct? More than 10% holdings. But I have a further summary to emphasize to you how changes have been. And this summary actually shows some of their funds selling further positions in January 2021. Bailey Gifford American Fund, which is what I mentioned at the start, they sold off 3.3% from their top holdings of Tesla. Scottish Mortgage Trust also sold 3.8% from their fund holdings. Now, that is a lot of selling, correct? Maybe January's selling pressure from Bailey Gifford has created Tesla's share price to come down a little bit. I don't know about that. But naturally, if an institution is selling a lot, naturally the price of you know, a particular company is seeing a lot of pressure. But moving forward, we don't really know what Tesla's share price is going to be, but they've taken a stand that they believe that it's better for them to trim. And that's a real difference moving forward between Bailey Gifford and ARK Invest. Now let's firstly compare between Bailey Gifford American Fund and ARK Invest, A-R-K-K. -K. And if you can see in this chart over here, you realize that their performance look very similar. And it, at certain points even, Bailey Gifford American Fund actually outperformed ARK. And what you can see towards the end of 2020 is as they began selling off from Tesla, the performance diverged. ARK Invest actually finished the year as the top performing ETF. And Bailey Gifford has to be within the top 10 in my opinion. So what is the main constituents difference between these two funds itself? So let's dig up further details. If you compare between Bailey Gifford's top 10 holdings versus the newest version of ARK's top 10 holdings, you realize quite a few things. The first is that Bailey Gifford has a lot into Amazon. Amazon is his second holdings. And what you see in Bailey Gifford American Fund are some names that you know I myself I haven't heard too much about. The Trade Desk, Wayfair, Netflix and Moderna, we, we have definitely heard of them before, but the names are very different from what we see in ARKK. Now what about for Scottish Mortgage Trust versus ARKK? The first thing to highlight is Scottish Mortgage Trust is actually a very low cost ETF. The annual fee is only 0.36% as compared to ARKK 0.75%. But the main part of it is how they actually approach their investments. If we pull out the top 10 list and put them side by side, this is what you will see. You realize that Scottish Mortgage Trust actually has a lot of Chinese names. Chinese tech, in my opinion, has big future. I'm so happy that, you know, uh, an international fund manager is appreciative of Chinese technology. You see names such as Tencent, which are top holdings. You see Alibaba, you see Meituan, you see Neo. Chinese names within the top 10 holdings and significant portions of it. If you compare that to ARKK, ARKK has no Chinese names. They have probably a bit more gen uh, genomics names to it. But the holdings are very different, which means that if you own both together, they could complement in terms of the portfolio. They are both into innovation and technology, but they own very different names in their top 10 holdings itself already. As of this moment, Bailey Gifford American Fund and Scottish Mortgage Trust have both seen declines in terms of their performance. And that's actually in line with ARK Innovation, ARKK's performance for 2021. 
In a ways, that reinforces a few key parts. First, when you invest into funds like these, which pick on aggressive companies, growth companies, you should expect volatile performance. If you're losing sleep because of that, then your position is probably too big. So reconsider, because this is a good learning part of your investment journey. The second is that this research has proven that ARK Invest, while they're very outstanding, they're not the only fund manager that's done more than 100% in 2020. Now, a lot of YouTube channels are just simply parrots of you know, what they're actually buying and selling. A lot of YouTube channels are creating a lot of fanfare about ARK Invest, and you know, I really want to prove that there are other outstanding fund managers, and hopefully, this has given you new concepts and you can critically think on what are the ideas that, that are being shown to you on YouTube channels itself. So with that, let me introduce you to today's sponsor for our video, which is Skillshare. Now, you know, to produce this video, it takes about 8 to 10 hours. There's research time needed, there's filming, there's editing. So if you're also looking to build a project for yourself, think very carefully, you need to optimize your time a lot better, correct? And there's none other than Thomas Frank, who is a trainer on Skillshare's masterclasses. Now, if you check out Thomas Frank, you realize that he has a lot of tips and a very well-structured program. I've actually made changes to my calendar and adopted an idea from him doing a review on the week. Now, there are also many productivity experts on Skillshare itself. This is how I encourage you to sign up using my trial links below. Hopefully, it helps you improve yourself and your day so you can accomplish a lot more moving forward. For more on Skillshare, the first 1,000 to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. Now, thank you for staying till here. In this section, let's go through some of the changes that ARKK has seen in terms of its holdings. I've actually pieced for you, you know, December 2020 as well as March 2021 to sure tell you a story as to where these changes are actually taking place. But do know also, when you see percentage changes, it could also be because of the share price movement of that company itself. So let's get things started. The first green arrow that I'd like to highlight to you is actually Tesla. Tesla remains ARKK's top holding and the weightage has almost been the same. Even though Tesla share price has came down, that means ARK has actually bought a lot more into Tesla. And what if Tesla share price starts to recover? You see that this allocation could really become big. The second idea to really focus on is actually Square. Square has moved up to number two in the top 10 holdings for 2021 March. And if I'm not wrong, this increased allocation is probably because of the good share price performance of Square. So not much about it. But the third name, Tila Dog Health. Now, Tila Dog Health's share price actually came down quite a bit. But if you see the allocation right now, it has increased to 5.84 in March 2021, correct? So that goes to show that ARK has actually bought more into Tila Dog Health. What about another interesting name? The fourth name I'd like to highlight to is actually Baidu, which I boxed up in green on the right hand side. Baidu right now is actually undergoing a secondary listing in Hong Kong. Maybe as of this time, viewing, they are already listed there. But Baidu is a name that Cathy Wood has mentioned favorably in the you know, auto car space. So that is a name to keep up looking whether they will increase allocations to it or not. Some other names that have fallen off the top 10 list are Chris Therapeutics as well as Invite Corp. These two I have boxed up in red on the left hand side. Now these two names are actually in the genomic space. So I'm not too sure. Maybe the story for genomics has actually picked out. So if you're invested in ARKG, do think very carefully and do track developments very carefully. Now, hopefully you like this presentation. This is actually a sequel to a previous video I've done on ARK, whereby I highlighted risk of them picking small companies that things in position size-wise could become illiquid. So just in case you haven't seen that, inviting you there or check on any other videos I have on investment. So hopefully it helps you become a better investor. And again, if you haven't subscribed, press subscribe and smash on the like. With that, I'll sign off. Take care and goodbye.